Okay, it's two steps forward, one step back. Jumping ahead in videos here on the timeline of my of releasing videos because there's a lot of stuff I haven't shown yet. So you guys might be surprised to see this, but anyways, I have drywall in about two thirds of my my ceiling here. Um, but there's a problem with it. So the place that I bought the drywall from um, did not respond to an email about this problem right here. The drywall backing is peeling and it's bubbled. You can feel it. You, can, you might not be able to see that on video, but you can absolutely feel it. And there's a lot of issues with the backing separating. Let me show you. Do you like it right here? This was pulled on a little bit, but it really comes off really easy. So there's a problem with the manufacturing process. I had the supplier out. Anyway, oh yeah, where was I going? I contacted the supplier a month ago on this through email, and I got no reply. And we put up a bunch of drywall, and then we it was hit or miss on a lot of these pieces. Most of them had this issue, but it, it was just getting bad and i said you know there's no way i should be hanging this drywall I, I should at least have a discount for having to deal with this and anyways i i emailed the guy again and he finally replied and he said well is it peeling just on the back or the front uh you know are you pulling on it what and i said no i'm not pulling on it it's just as you cut it to use it and whatever it delaminates and it comes off um, the good thing is, is that the front is not delaminating. It does not feel bubbled or anything. And I think that's pretty much the important part, but long story short, we've got these tray ceilings and a lot of the, like I said, about two thirds of the house complete and the supplier contacted the, the, the manufacturer. As a matter of fact, that's why a big piece is here. It pulled right off real easy, but the guy was here and you could see where he cut a piece and it actually had the manufacturer information on there when it was built, which was back in November, just a couple months ago, two, two and a half months ago or so built in Kentucky. And it shows the time when it was built. So he took that, he contacted the manufacturer and the manufacturer said, yeah, that's something we will not warranty. Let's take it down. Um, I'm being told I'll be reimbursed for all of the labor charge to take this down. Now I'm building a super airtight house and I have the, uh, the drywall also caulked up in there. So I have probably a couple hundred dollars worth of caulk. Um, those are Hilti screws using a Hilti uh, screw gun. Uh, boxes of screws for those are a couple hundred dollars. I'm sure we have a couple few hundred screws in here already. So, um, that is where we are. I have all my holes cut here. I have a, a light on a, on a motion sensor and it's kind of plugged in there. So I don't really have things wired as it appears, as you might think I do, but I do have wires running in the rafters and it's all coming along. I'll try to get some more videos up. Sorry to spin around if I'm making you dizzy. Anyways, that's the deal. Stay tuned.